This is the flag of Belgium, but did you know that once upon a time it looked really quite similar but still different to the flag of Belgium today? Well in today's video I want to find out why is the Belgian flag and why did it change? Well, Belgium is a country in Western Europe, but did you know that before 1830 it was ruled and was the southern province of a very different country? Now that my last Belgian fans are hitting unsubscribe and leaving the video, why don't we get back to the question of why they are two separate countries? Well, if you're interested in that, I did a three-part series on the Netherlands and Belgium, and the biggest divorce case in the Benelux that we've ever seen, creating the modern landscape there today. But in today's video, let's go back to the flags. Why are there these two flags? What can we say about them and what's their history? Well, of course, the, the noticeable feature similarity between the older and the newer Belgian flags is that they have the same colours, red, yellow and black. There are a few explanations for where these colours come from, but the biggest explanation that has the most backing is that they go back to the Duchy of Brabant, which was a political entity that throughout much of the Middle Ages was incredibly important. Situated in today's southern Netherlands and large parts of today's Belgium, they were a powerful political entity for much of that period, and so were seen as a kind of founding father state of the modern state of Belgium when Belgians started clamouring for independence themselves. As we can see, the coat of arms of the Duchy of Brabant has a lion on it. The lion itself is yellow, its claws and its tongue are red, and it's on a black backdrop. So right there on this one coat of arms, we already have all the colours of the Belgian flags. However, there's another explanation that this uh, Duchy of Brabant is only the lion that gives the yellow colour to the Belgian flag, whereas the red colour is given by three other coats of arms of Luxembourg, of Limburg and of Aino, and the black is then given also by Aino, which has two colours of lion on its flag, as well as the county of Flanders, which has a black lion, and the county of Namur, which has a lion which was cancelled for making insensitive jokes. However, when these three colours first came onto a tricolour flag together, they didn't quite do that in the way that you might expect. What I'll show you next may shock you. And yes, it's that, no, not in that way. But this was actually the first time that these three colours were used on a flag to represent a nation in what is today Belgium. And this occurred in 1789 as part of the Brabantian Revolution because it occurred in an area that was still known as Brabant, even though it was at that time ruled over by the Austrian Empire. And so officially it was called the Austrian Netherlands. Now the rebels in this period needed something to identify with a colour or a flag that they could use for their own, and so they chose cockades to fix onto their own hats of red, yellow and black as the colours of Brabant, this duchy that had been situated in the area. Now this uprising failed, however just over 40 years afterwards, in 1830, when the Belgians rose up against Dutch rule, they looked back to this former revolution that had been fought many of them by their father's generation against the Austrians, and they decided to adopt the same coloured cockades of the black, yellow and red, which had come to symbolise rebellion against larger powers in the region. And so this is what we see in the Belgian Revolution of 1830, that they also associate with the yellow, red and black colours. Now, what's interesting though is that the first flag that was raised in the Belgian Revolution was not one of these yellow, red and black flags, but instead the blue, white, red tricolour of France. Now this was of course because by 1830 the French Revolution had happened already, and at that time any kind of revolution would often hark back to the French Revolution, probably the most famous revolution uh, that had been fought, sorry Americans, but the French Revolution was more important in Europe at that time, and and so the French flag was seen as a flag of revolution and rebellion, especially of workers against aristocracy and such. And so this was the first flag. However, after it had flown for one night, it was taken down by rebel leaders who thought we actually need a, a more national flag because this is uh, aiming for independence from the rest of the Netherlands and creating our own Belgian state. And so they took the flag down and they hoisted this flag instead. 
which of course is the flag that is an older version of the modern Belgian flag. It, they flipped round the colours from the flag that was used during the Brabantian Revolution, but we still have to wonder why isn't this today the modern Belgian flag? Well, it's a tri it is of course a horizontal tricolour, which might actually be because of the Dutch influence, because for so long it had been a horizontal tricolour that had flown over Belgium's cities. But this doesn't really do, especially because the Dutch invaded Belgium even after they declared their own ind independence in their campaign to try and win it back, and the Belgians had to fight a difficult war against them to retain their independence. So perhaps that's why it's actually not a good thing to have a kind of horizontal tricolour just as the neighbours that you've just been fighting. So maybe that's why they decided to shift their flag around again. Now the way that they shifted around their flag might also be because it was actually the French in the end who invaded Belgium to kick out the Dutch, which they subsequently did. And so we see on the 23rd of January 1831, the Belgian constitution noted that their flag would be a vertical tricolour and not a horizontal tricolour. And that is, of course, how we now get the flag of Belgium that we have today, a vertical tricolour of red, yellow and black that we all know today. But wait, I hear you cry. There's something a little odd about that flag, because this actually isn't the modern flag of Belgium. More astute viewers will have noticed that actually the colours are the wrong way around. However, on the 12th of October 1831, the Belgian constitution, as it was finalised, actually stipulated that instead of the colours going red, yellow, black, instead at the hoist, so the flag side, should be the black colour. And that is how we get the modern Belgian flag. All right, everyone, thank you very much for watching. I decided to do a video on the Belgian flag because I've mentioned it in quite a few videos, especially when making various jokes against the Belgians, and I can only apologize for that. But I thought it might be a nice idea to actually go through and take a look at uh, some of the, um, well, uh, things behind the Belgian flag, the history behind the various counties and how those lions might have inspired the three colours or whether it might just come from the Duchy of Brabant's colours in any case and how during the revolution the flag sort of changed quite a bit. It's interesting, you obviously see that uh, with the German flag as well that there were various versions of that flag and combinations of the colours before it was finalised into the design that we now know today as the German flag. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've got quite a lot coming on the American Civil War, but I'm going to try and intersperse that with videos about other topics for those that maybe aren't as interested. Anyway, I really appreciate you giving me a watch. If you are new, then please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell because YouTube doesn't often notify people anymore when I upload. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. For now though, I have been Hilbert and this has been the Belgische Geschiedenis van de Vlag.